Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, you know what? Why not just do an entire <laughs> series of horse videos? Um, I found another set that I hadn't shown you that also is a horse set. Maybe it's just because I'm not a horse girl. I don't know. Um, but here we are. Today we're going to talk about the 1995 Shetland Pony Stable, also known as Polly's Shetland Pony. Um, this is a really cool set and there are three in this series. I've shown you Unicorn Meadow before and I know that it was on my uh, top of the fish pond, um, my top fish ponds video, <laughs> which was a while ago, if you haven't seen it. But uh, we have a running joke on this channel about fish pond stickers inside of the set. So if you haven't seen my fish pond video, go find it. Um, but this is another one from that same series and apparently I haven't shown it to you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, can we just talk about how gorgeous this is? So this is the in 1995 Shetland Pony Stable. Um, so gorgeous, this beautiful floral pattern on the shell with these ribbons on the side, this gorgeous pony. I love these compacts. Even though I'm not a horse girl, I love the way these compacts were designed. The little petite Polly Pocket logo down there, very, very sweet, and an absolutely gorgeous shade of pink. So let's open this up and check it out. One of the reasons I like these sets so much is because they are designed to be played with completely flat. So most compacts in the Polly Pocket, at least the vintage era, um, were designed to be played with at a 90 degree angle, but some of them were designed to be flat and I love that. So I would normally say from top to bottom but <laughs> it's all the same. We're gonna start up here though. So this is meant to be I guess a training area where you, they can jump over different obstacles. So there are fences here that can be down or up um, and then there's also um, this which I'm not sure if that moves. I don't think so. So those are in place. Then there's also some chairs and a little table. Um, I think that's meant to actually be a pedestal for a trophy. Love the use of stickers though. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, even though they would be trampled on as the horse is jumping around, but whatever. Um, love that they use different colors for the shrubbery instead of just going with one. It does give it a little bit more dimension. And then over on this side, there is a thatched roof stable with a white creature on top that I believe is meant to be a cat, but it looks almost like a dog and a mouse and a cat all at the same time. Um, the face is very <laughs> strange, but there it is. Interesting sort of grayish purple color for the roof. I feel like it just looks slightly out of place, but um, again, good use of the stickers to add some paving stones and more flowers here. Love the different greens they've brought in. And then this is just the textured plastic. There is another sticker here for the water trough, um, but the hay is not painted. They just left it this sort of peachy color. Um, two buckets. They are stuck to the actual compact. A movable gate here. And then the star of the show is the fact that the roof opens up. So there is a moving door. If I can get it to go. There we go. <laughs> um, so that does with difficulty open. Interesting um, spots here. We'll have a look at that in the moment, but you can see some grooming tools. So there's a saddle, there are some brushes, um, what appear to be a ribbon and some bows. And then up these steps, there is a sitting area with some books and a television. 
And the chair actually folds out into a bed with a pillow, which is really cute and clever. And I absolutely love when they have little hidden details like that. So lots of detail in the set, which I love. Um, the set comes with a number of pieces. Um, one of those pieces is a comb. So the comb is pink again with some very small floral details on it, but they are there. And I believe that is meant to sit in here as the other fence. Um, then there is also the horse and, um, or pony, the Shetland pony. Um, her hair is quite frankly a little worse for wear and I could probably do some work on it. Um, sometimes you can get this stuff combed out wet and then put around a pencil or something and it'll help work it out. Uh, if you haven't seen that done with synthetic doll hair before, I would definitely check out um, any like vintage My Little Pony collector videos where they do what they like to call pony spa. Uh, they will show you how to deal with this hair. So it can, can be back to its original state, just takes some TLC. So the pony is white with this beautiful lilac, purple, lavender-y, pastel colored hair, um, a hot pink saddle, and very short little legs. Now, remember there was this here, and this is for <laughs> the feet to sit in, and then, then when it's closed, like how cute is that? Their head's just peeking out of the stable. Also in this set is a saddle, and that's because if you notice, the top of the pony has a hole in it, and that is for the clip and the saddle to go in. So that just pops in here. And what else? Very deluxe. Maybe someone that's um, more horsey than me. <laughs> I'm just really, I don't know very much about horses, can tell me if that's a blanket or if it's meant to be something else. Um, other figures and things that came with it was, of course, Polly. So Polly, I love this Polly. She's in excellent condition. Look at the paint on her face. Um, she has her hair back in a really cute hairstyle. It's like a little chignon and, and it um, it is very unique. I have not seen this on another figure and it could be wrong, but I don't recognize it. She has a light blue top and some indigo pants on, some turquoise shoes and a off pink, sort of almost purple riding helmet. And her legs do separate so that she can ride the pony, which we'll look at in a moment. Then of course, the last piece is a trophy. So beautiful gold trophy. It's really cute, really tiny, but I believe that is going to fit over here. So let's have a look. I think that's what it's meant for. The color indeed matches. And yeah, that does seem to fit there. Um, because her legs are split, you'll notice that the compact is set up in a way to make use of that. So the chair, instead of being a typical chair, is a chair that you could sit in in theory, <laughs> like that, to accommodate her. Um, and then if we have a look at this without the blanket or whatever that happens to be, she can ride on the pony. She's very tall. Maybe this is because they meant, they're meant to be going over jumps. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe she is meant to go on top of that. I don't know. Um, but there she is. Once she's on there, she's not coming off, but you can then open her up a bit more and pop her back off. So a very detailed set, lots of pieces, which is why um, I'm always surprised when I get sets like this and they are complete. Uh, and while I do have a lot more sets to show you um, that are not complete, the reason I try to wait is because I wanna show you the complete toy um, so it's properly documented, but yeah, is this just meant to be a blanket? I don't know. Am I, am I putting it on the right way? Is it supposed to go the other way? 
No, definitely not. Um, well, we tried. I'm not sure what uh, the deal with that is meant to be, but there it is. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite thing about this set? I'll tell you mine in a moment, but it is very detailed. I absolutely love it. And I'll get you some more footage of the set with it open here, but that is the 1995 Shetland Pony Stable. Okay, um, what is your favorite thing about this one? You know, it's it's a really beautiful set. I think for me, I love that they open up um, and I love that things are multifunctional. I think that's just a really cool feature that they have in these sets. And um, they made really great use of stickers as well. But for me, I think it's gotta be the bed I love that. Um, the little cat on the roof, even though it looks kind of like a weird mouse dog, um, is also very cute. But I think for me it's the bed and the stickers. So let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is. Well, uh, we are working through these sets that I haven't shown you, but uh, <laughs> here we are. Sometimes I feel like I've shown them to you, but then I realize, no, I was probably just quickly cataloging them. But um, Hey, there we go. Um, after digging through my YouTube, now I know that not all of thing, everything has been shown. So um, other than that, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. It helps out the channel so much. Um, it's free to do, and I bring out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And if you're on social media, you can find me there too. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. That's the best place to connect with me outside of YouTube. But that's it for me for today. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.